Of course, ladies and gentlemen, when I decided to take one full day off from PC, from everything around YouTube, from everything involving computers, to recover a bit, which I haven't done in months, and it felt so freaking good. But of course, Wargaming had to release the biggest freaking news bombs in 2018 involving what is happening in this game in 2019 and let me tell you one thing guys forget all the free tanks forget all the free marathons forget all the gifts forget um, forget everything else i think this is for me at least personally if everything mentioned in this article is going to happen in 2019 it is the best christmas present and new year's present in world of tanks that i can wish for I am really excited about what is happening and hopefully this stuff is going to happen. I am really crossing my fingers over here. I hope all this is going to happen because World of Tanks for me, for for majority of the community needs a new direction. It seriously needs new direction and hopefully they are not going to cheat us. Hopefully they are not uh, simply trying to like extinguish the fire in the community with this article. But I really try to be positive. I want to be positive about 2019 in World of Tanks. So guys, yesterday Wargaming released following plans for World of Tanks in 2019. Premium ammunition rebalancing, matchmaker, the return of frontline, vehicle rebalancing, new vehicles, new mechanics, ranked battles, clan wars, the pawn shop, premium account, customization styles, and tank race. All that was released in Wargaming Fest 2018. But in this episode, I am going deep into two first topics premium ammunition changes and new matchmaker system or new matchmaking templates. Because uh, there are still a couple problems, in my eyes at least, and I want to go deep into those topics. So let's have a look what Wargaming had to say. First topic premium ammunition rebalancing. Now this is something that I have said for years that I would like to see being done to the premium ammunition and many other community contributors have said the same as well. So standard AP shells are now the most attractive in terms of cost and damage. They have high damage per shot and they are cheap but it's harder to hit armored vehicles w when using these shells because penetration is not as good. Special ammunition aka premium ammunition is good for firing on armored vehicles because of high chance to penetrate, so penetration is better, but they come at a high cost and have a lower damage per shot, by 25-30% to 30 lower damage per shot than the standard shells. This is what I have been saying for years guys and many other people. But there is still one problem even with this uh, type of premium ammunition tuning. More about that in a second because uh, finally high explosive shells make it possible to inflict damage with a greater probability regardless of whether the vehicle is armored or not. Uh, they are effective against poorly armored vehicles but have low armor penetration, cannot pierce obstacles. Yes, ob obstacles which is a really big... Uh, uh, how to say, weakness actually, uh, have the lowest uh, damage per shot in case of non-penetration and often the lowest velocity as well. Yes, all that is nice. Now talking about that one potential problem, I do not know if this is going to be a problem, but a potential problem in a PC version of World of Tanks. When they nerfed the special ammunition damage by 25 to 30%. That means you have to use 25 to 30 percent more premium rounds to kill a target. Doesn't that mean you are going to see even more gold spam? As I said, it might be a potential problem because I am aware that World of Tanks Blitz already has this type of premium ammunition system going on and people over there are really happy. Many Blitz players are saying that it didn't make it worse, it made it a lot better. People are using a lot more regular rounds than they did before because of more damage, they are now aiming at the weak spots and so on. But why it is a potential problem in World of Tanks PC version? is because we have so many overly armored vehicles, type 5 mouse, we have so many overpowered hull down tanks in this game that are uh, literally impenetrable without premium rounds. But on the other hand, it is a good thing because premium spammers, they have to spend uh, literally 25-30% to 30 more time and credits to take anything down. And the super heavy tanks like Mouse and Type 5, they have a chance to fight back at least because it takes more time to take them out. 
So it has many, many good and bad things. So one way, at least one way to fix that problem as well is to put cap on premium rounds. How many premium rounds one vehicle can carry? But Wargaming guys, they have to go over tank by tank because tanks in this game uh, are super different. We have a couple tanks where premium rounds are necessary to do any damage at all because standard rounds are just such a big garbage and um, uh, some tanks really depend on the premium rounds. So uh, to put a cap on it might help it out. What do you guys think? Let me know your ideas in the comments as well. But this is uh, just one problem that um, I picked up. But all in all, I have to say I like this new system more that we have at the moment. Next up, let's talk about the infamous matchmaking. The thing that makes the most people angry in this game at the moment, especially if you are trying to play with a terrain vehicle. Okay, so the matchmaker's main objective has always been getting players into battle as quickly as possible. Ever since 2010, the various versions have valued speed as the top priority. As a result, we encountered the following key challenges. So-called uh, fail platoons, which consists a vehicle that differs by more than uh, three tiers. Yes, we had so many fail platoons like tier 10 uh, people, tier 10 tanks platooned with the KV-2s for example. Even though on paper it sounds really awesome as KV-2 in tier 10 battle, but um, you really didn't want to be in the team with that KV-2 because it is a tier 6 vehicle in a tier 10 battle after all. A large number of SPGs in team up to eight. Ooh, yes, good old taste, guys. Uh, I am I'm fairly sure like 50% of my viewer base do not even remember up to eight in team, up to eight SPGs in one team. <laughs> like, wow, wow, yes, uh, old SPGs as well with crazy damage. And the teams were getting matched in such a way that there were very few opponents of your tier in battle. For example, there could be 13 tier 10s, but only 2 tier 8 vehicles on your team. Yes, all of this was a problem. Uh, so in 2017, in update 9.18, they released 357 matchmaking and 510 matchmaking and uh, full tier uh, battles, like full tier 8, full tier 7s and so on. It was implemented and oh boy, it turned out to be such a freaking big epic fail. And I am still a bit mad, it's a bit salty that it is taking so freaking long to fix it, even though they know this is an issue, it should be like number one priority, almost number one priority. Like we have so many number one priority problems in this game actually. But uh, they are talking about it and they, are, uh, they know about it, they know about this problem. So this uh, template that we have at the moment turned out to be such a big fail, so they decided to look into it once again. And what we should be able to get in the future. In the future, they say. Templates will become more flexible depending on the current situation in the queue. In addition to the classic. 357. Sadly, seems like this is still going to be in. In the matchmaking template. And 510 matchmaking. New templates may appear in order to help short the queue. For a tutor battle, there may be also a 6, 9, and 7, 8 version of the matchmaking. Not simply 510 matchmaking. Because 510 at the moment is actually quite nice and enjoyable. So 6, 9, and 7, 8 on paper at least sounds good. For uh, free tier battles, there may also be 4, 5, 6 and even 5, 5, 5 matchmaking template available, depending on the matchmaking, depending on the queue, uh, I should say. Templates may also appear with a larger number of tanks in the top than in the bottom for two tier battles. This mainly concerns the 8 7 template for two tier battles, so 7 8 or 8 7. That means 7 tier 10s and 8 tier 9s or 8 tier 10s and 7 tier 9s, like we had back in the days. But sadly, as I said, 357 matchmaking is still in the queue. It is the most hated matchmaking template and it is still inside this uh, queue system. So how to fix that? In my opinion, they should once again add something called, I don't know, if we can say cap? Uh, to the matchmaking queue templates. Uh, for example, if you have received 357 matchmaking once, your next two or your next three matchmaking templates cannot 
B357. Uh, so, and this goes to every single matchmaking template. For example, if you have received 357 once, your next battle is 69. Uh, your next battle after that is 456 matchmaking template. Uh, that means you cannot receive toes in your next three battles. If you know what I mean, if you catch me drift, if you understand me. Hopefully you do. So of course, uh, adding more matchmaking templates uh, should bring more variety. Uh, more variety into your gameplay, into world tanks and so on. But you may also say it brings more variety for me to be a bottom tier warrior. Like in one battle, I'm in 357 matchmaking as a bottom tier tank. In my next battle, I am in 456 matchmaking as a bottom tier vehicle once again. And um, in my third battle, for example, I am in 555 matchmaking as a bottom tier warrior. So is this going to solve it? 100%. Is this going to make World of Tanks uh, less frustrating for, for you if you are playing with a tier 8 vehicle and you are still constantly in tier 10 battles? I wouldn't say so, and I'm not even sure which is the best out of the worst matchmaking situations for you. Now, let's say, for example, you are playing with a tier 8 and you are bottom tier warrior. Which is the best out of the worst situations or matchmaking templates for you? Are you a bottom tier warrior in 357 matchmaking or in 456 matchmaking or is the best bottom tier warrior matchmaking for you 555 matchmaking? It is really hard to tell simply by looking at the paper, but I know one thing. I do not want to see my next three battles being 357 matchmaking as the bottom tier warrior, then 456 matchmaking and then 555 matchmaking as the bottom tier warrior. So in this situation, yes, variety is nice, but if you are a bottom tier warrior in every single version, <laughs> this then variety is not working and it is not making me feeling less frustrated about the game. So, how to fix that? Wargaming should add one little point into the it is in the future tab. Point that says you cannot be bottom tier warrior like two times in a row or three times in a row. If you have been bottom tier two times in a row, your next two battles, in your next two battles, you are either in the middle or you are either a top tier vehicle. There are many ways how to fix it, this was just from the top of my head. In my eyes, it can only be a good thing, or maybe I have been blinded by something, so what do you think about that? What do you think about my idea to cap those matchmaking templates that you are not able to uh, get into 357 matchmaking like three times in a row? Uh, if you have played in 357 uh, matchmaking, that means in your next three battles you cannot get into this matchmaking template anymore. Or maybe in your next uh, two battles, or, or four battles, or even five battles. Let's use all those different matchmaking templates one by one. I am willing to wait extra five seconds, extra ten seconds in the queue to get good matchmaking once again. So please let me know what you think about this idea in the comments down below. This should improve the matchmaking system even more. Because I like variety, I like to be in different battles. When the battle starts I want to be excited. I'm actually getting excited at the moment simply by thinking about this new matchmaking system. Uh, but I want to be excited at the start of the battle. I want to look at the matchmaking to see okay uh, which kind of tier 10s, uh, tier 8s we have, uh, what is the matchmaking template, uh, how I have to play this, uh, this situation, how I have to play play my, my tank on this map now, depending on the enemy teams and so on, not simply 357 matchmaking and I'm looking at uh, the enemy tier 10 vehicles and uh, our tier 10 vehicles to see who is going to win even before even before the countdown ends, because 357 actually is uh, mo more often than not is decided by tier 10s, those three tier 10s, if your tier 10s suck complete donkey dick then you are going to lose. And if enemy tier 10s suck, uh, don't get the sorry, family friendly content, uh, then enemy team is going to lose. But uh, more excitement is always better for the game. So, my ideas, ladies and gentlemen, uh, featuring uh, new premium ammunition and new matchmaking system.
It is, most definitely. On paper, even I can say 6, 9, 7, 8, 4, 5, 6, 5, 5, 5. To add all those into the matchmaking queue is going to help this game out. But uh, how they are going to use it, how often you can use those matchmaking templates uh, really uh, determines how good it actually is. And I'm not going to say anything final, I'm not going to say my final opinion about it, I'm not going to make any states, uh, statements uh, before I have been able to test this out. I am not going to make the same mistake twice. So this was my episode for you today about World of Tanks in 2019. As I said, I wanted to go deep into those two topics in today's episode and I want to cut it over here because we are over 15 minutes already and I still have my giveaway to two. So please let me know what you think about those two topics in the comments down below. Now in my previous episode I was able to give away uh, Thunderbolt and uh, two times 2300 gold. All you had to do for that was you had to leave uh, a little comment answering to my video question and you had to be a subscriber and winners are on the screen right now congratulations to every single one of you if you want thunderbolt please give wargaming guys a couple days to give that or to add this vehicle to your account if you didn't have it already if you did you are going to receive credits value of this tank uh, but uh, who won two times uh, 2500 gold to people go check your premium shop i sent out all the prices already before you are uh, able to see this episode so congratulations once again now in today's episode i am able to give away two different premium tanks first one is isu 122s tier 7 premium tank destroyer from ussr from soviet russia so this is up for grab and our main prize in today's episode is vk 16801 mauer brecher tier 8 German heavy tank and this is a heavy tank freaking over 100 tons heavy vehicle and uh, gold value is over 10,000 gold so quite a big prices in today's episode all you have to do for that is simple number one be subscribed because I would like to support people who actually support me and this channel and secondly answer to my today's video question which is what do you think about my additional ideas fixing the matchmaking and fixing premium ammunition in this game additional to the ideas that wargaming came up with let me know in the comments down below and while you are down here already consider hitting that like button if you enjoyed today's episode or this like button if you didn't and check out my beast mode care store that much about today's episode or about this episode i catch you next time with something else stay awesome take care and bye